Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to embed a Flowdesk form onto your website. So here is my show it website and I am going to embed a Flowdesk form into this bit. So I'm going to open up this site canvas here and we're going to swap this bit out here for a Flowdesk form. So in my Flowdesk account, what I want to do is go to my form section. Here I'm going to go to new form and then I'm going to, I'm going to add a ribbon banner here, but if you can't, can't find it there, just go to inline and it will give you the options for just different ribbon banners. I'm going to go for this one because I want a really basic one. And you can also select what segment you want it to go to. So I'm going to get it just to website subscribers. There we go. Save. Okay. So, right. If we look at this one, we have just like a green background. There's no background in this section. And I'm just going to leave the show it text up here instead of it actually getting text through Flowdesk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete all the text on this form. There we go. And then I'm going to remove the background here. So click on the background and canvas color, blank, background color, blank. Okay. Um, I'm also going to remove this last name field because I don't want that on my form. So delete. First name, email. It is good to get the first name on your email list because then you can customize your emails like, oh, to such and such. Here's my newsletter kind of thing. But I'm going to delete the first name just because it's not on this one and I want it to match. There we go. So email address. Uh, access now is what it says. And then let's start changing these styles. So you'll see we have a white button with this green color. So I'm just going to copy my green color code from show it. And we've got um, just a white border there. Okay, so let me grab this. Perfect border color. I don't need a border. And here we're just going to have it white. Border color white. There we go. So here, what I need to do now is change the font. So let's make it all capitals. Bold, there we go. And there we go, we're not making this exact. <laughs> and the email address, I will change that font as well. Okay. Perfect, it's hard to see against this gray. So once you've done that, what you then need to do is go to next, and then you'll be able to set um, kind of what the form does. So double opt-in, um, yeah, sure. Um, you can add an opt-in message, but I'm just gonna go for no right now just because it's easier for this video. When subscribers opt into this form, don't notify me because that would drive me crazy. And you want to display the success message that you've set um, in your design. You can also redirect to a URL. But so what I've got now is I have this header code. This is important because this needs to be on every page that you want your form to actually show up on. You can embed your form, but if this code isn't here, it won't show up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my homepage because I want it to show up there and go to advanced settings, custom head HTML and paste it in there. If you click on something, you'll notice advanced settings is no longer there. What you do is click on just the home up here on the page section and it will appear back there. If you're on here and you can't find it, then just click page up here, home, and it will show up here in the corner. So now that that's there, we actually want to embed our form. So let's go here, copy my inline code. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to this bar here, get an in, in, embed code button, click on it and embed my code. Now the problem with Flowdesk forms is they don't show on show it. Um, I think this is just like their software clashing with each other or something. So you will need to preview it until before you can actually view it. So I'm gonna delete this for now and I'm gonna move this one up. Now Flowdesk forms tend to pull down slightly below. So like it says it starts here, but it probably starts about here. But let's just preview this and see how it looks. This is where the, the tweaking comes in handy. Yes, yeah, so it's came down here a little bit. That was meant to be a white button with green text, wasn't it? Not a green button with white text. Let's go change that. See, this is this is why I love it. <laughs> okay, let's go back here. Where's my green color? Copy that, go to the font. 
and then change my button to white. Okay, that should be good. Just gonna continue that ju just so it saves. I'm out and then let's preview it again. Hopefully it's updated. Yes, there we go. Okay, so you'll see it's quite far down and we do have a big gap here. So we're gonna use that as just kind of like an, an estimate. Like it's, we're gonna go with it's in the middle here. This is how I figure things out. So it's around here. I know you can't see it, but yep. There we go. So if I move that up, hopefully that's it there. Let's preview. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure it's like centered. So there we go. Center that and then drag this to the center there. Amazing, and now this works and is all linked up to your flow desk. So it does take a bit of tweaking. You will need to preview it. Once you're happy with it, you can press this blue publish button, but don't press that before you're happy with it because it will just put it onto your live website. Um, but yeah, there we go. You can't see it on show it, but it is there. 